I'd like to invite Tyler and Sarah Prince. They're going to the field of Ireland, and uh, they have completed their internship at Bible Baptist Church in Osborne, Kansas. Uh, with Bible Baptist Church there, uh, Pastor Billy Newman, and that'll be their sending church and sending pastor as well. Well, first, I want to say thank you for letting us be here this week with all of you. It's been, you have just loved on us and encouraged us, and it has been so awesome to get to meet so many of you. Um, I'm Sarah. I was extremely blessed to grow up in a Christian home. My dad is a pastor. My mom homeschooled us, and she actually led me to the Lord at a very young age. And, of course, I knew what missionaries were. Everybody does. Missionaries meant that the pastor's kids got to go out to Pizza Hut after church. My own grandparents, Don and Sherry Espinosa, were BBFI missionaries to Argentina for many years, and still I didn't really understand what they did, what it meant, um, until my grandpa's funeral. Story after story of the mighty things that God had done through them. I wanted that. I thought that would be so cool. So obviously that couldn't be what God wanted for my life because you have to hate God's plan, right? Barrier cross and all that. Um, the following summer at Sagmont Baptist Youth Camp, our speaker was BBFI missionary David Lyles to Peru. He hit us all week with mission story after mission story, his own experiences and what the Bible says about missions. I, again, wanted to do that so badly. The Lord was laying it so heavily on my heart, and so I got over this false idea that this couldn't be God's will, and I surrendered my life to whatever mission field God had for me. Fast forward about eight years later through a series of, at the time, extremely confusing circumstances, God brought Tyler and I together, and he brought us to Osborne, Kansas, to serve under my dad as missions interns as we prepared for the field of Ireland. If you don't know, Ireland is the least evangelized English-speaking country in the world. Um, churches are shutting their doors. People are walking away from even their Catholic roots, with the younger generations choosing atheism and agnosticism. Religion is nothing. God is redundant and unnecessary. Jesus is nobody. With, this, um, with the strength and grace of God, as well as partnering with other laborers already there, we want to go and help change that. In one generation, God used an ordinary man named Patrick to turn ancient Ireland upside down with the gospel. And with your help, we would like to do that again. We would like to see God do that again. Um, we hope that you will consider partnering with us, with us, both through prayer and financially. Thank you. <laughs> well, she's amazing. I love her. Um, so my name is Tyler Prince, like, uh, like they said. Um, I was saved at the age of 17 uh, at Monadnock Bible Camp in Jaffrey, New Hampshire. I grew up uh, around the area of Boston, Massachusetts. And uh, I had a life, uh, I, I grew up in a... An, recognize the air quotes, Christian home, okay? So my parents, they're here. They're amazing people. They're good people, but we were Catholic, right? Catholic with the quotes around it because we never went to church, uh, but if anybody ever asked us, we were Catholic, okay? And so uh, I just strived my whole life to fit in somewhere. I didn't know where I fit in, uh, and so that led me to uh, get into the wrong crowd, and I ended up uh, in crowds and in bands and, and drinking a ton and doing drugs. Uh, and so uh, it, when I was 17, I got saved, and my youth pastor told me I should drop out of high school. And I know that sounds terrible, but it's true because I was so bad at school. And so I dropped out of high school when I was 18. I got my GED, and then I uh, enrolled in Boston Baptist College. Uh, in 2013, I started a long, grueling process of college because for a high school dropout to get a four-year degree is like astronomically low. And so it was very hard for me. But during that time at college, uh, that's when God called me to the missions field. So even in college, I had no idea uh, what God wanted me to do with my life. Uh, I was saved. I knew Christ. But what was I supposed to do? I was in the band at church. I was good at music. But was that what God wanted me to do for the rest of my life? Uh, and so there was this missions emphasis week that the college had. And they had missionaries, BBFI missionaries, come in and talk about missions. And I was like, I kept thinking about it. I was like, missions? There's no possible way that God wants me to be a missionary. I mean, 
look at me. I don't look like a missionary. What does a missionary look like? Honestly, I don't know. But it's usually not this, right? Clean shaven, no tattoos, no pizza slice on the middle finger, right? And so, uh, but I couldn't get that out of my head. God wanted me to be a missionary, what? That doesn't, what is that? There's no way. And so one night on the last day of that missions emphasis week, uh, God was just, I was wrestling with that idea. And God 100% told me, I want you to be a missionary. And so I finally, I surrendered to that. And I said, fine, if you want me to be a missionary, then where do you want me to go? Tell me right now. Now advice, don't, don't do that to God. But sometimes he's gracious enough to give us an answer. And the next day, it was uh, announced at our college that we would be going to Ireland on our study trip. And I said, Ireland? I grew up around Boston. I grew up around more Irish people than people in Ireland grew up around Irish people, okay? And so I got to go there, and, and this is where Sarah and I uh, kind of rekindled our love for each other because she had dumped me her freshman year because I didn't want to be a missionary, okay? And so... So on that trip, God called me to that field because I heard the statistic that Ireland was the least evangelized English-speaking country in the whole world. I mean, that just blew my mind, okay? Uh, and so I started looking into it and looking at the stats of it, and Ireland has an evangelical growth rate of 3.3%. That's less than places like North Korea and Pakistan and other creative access nations. And so I absolutely, I love the Irish people. I love Irish culture. And so with the help and support of local churches, we'll be able to all together in the heavenly throne room, praise God with Irish people. And I pray that we get to sing some Irish jigs together with Irish people because that music is awesome. Uh, and so we just thank you so much for the opportunity just to come and present this work to you guys uh, because we want to change the, the statistic that says that Ireland is the least evangelized English-speaking country in the world. Like Sarah said, we want to turn that place upside down. The people that we're going to work with have a goal of reaching the entire island for Christ. That's a big goal, and, and like the other missionary said, that's not a bigger goal than God, okay? And so he can do it through us, yet not I, but through Christ in me. Thank you, Tyler and Sarah. I'm quite certain that the uh, tattoos fit right in at the Bible Baptist Church in Osborne, Kansas, where Billy Newman is pastor to give his recommendation. I wasn't listening. Was he mocking me? Okay. I promise Osborne is on a map somewhere. This is big time for our little tiny church. It's our first missionary to ever send out. You don't really need to hear from me after what you just heard from them, to be honest with you, but they are excited. They are ready. I can't hold them back anymore. I've, I've had them for four years. I can't stop them from going. A couple of years ago when we were trying to set this date, I kept trying to push them September or next May, but they weren't having it. They've been zoomed, zoomed in, locked in on Ireland for years. And they're ready and excited. And like Tyler said, I, will you just help us help them get a bunch of more Irish people in heaven? Revelation 5 promises that there are people from every tribe, tongue, people, and nation who will be redeemed. Didn't promise us the percentages, though, right? So we're... Excited for them, a little sad. At least Sarah's leaving, you know, Tyler. <laughs> so Bible Baptist Church of Osborne highly recommends to you, Tyler and Sarah Prince, to be missionaries with the Baptist Bible Fellowship. Thank you, Billy. We just need a second. Someone would stay. Thank you, Dave. All in favor, please say amen.
Congratulations, Tyler and Sarah.